All right, y'all, we got some, we got some little breaking news here on the farm. Scott's announcing it. We got some breaking news. Y'all come on, check this out. Y'all look at this. Y'all look at this. Talk about a crew. Boss lady's out here. Look at her, big peach. What's going on, boss lady? What's going on, girl? Everybody's out here. Y'all acting right, ain't you? Yeah. I see peaches over here this morning. I do. I want to give y'all a give y'all a honey update. I already put her medicine on this morning. Way better. I'm talking about way better. I know the medicine's gonna make it look like it's nasty and dirty because it kind of sticks to it. But y'all, night and day difference in the way she looks now than she did. So she's getting way, way, way better. So the medicine's working and we gotta do the steroid pills for seven more days. So she's a mess too. We're gonna brush her. Uh, uh oh, this morning got my brushes here. Now these brushes, actually this one right here, somebody sent us a pack of like four of these brushes. So no one's used this one but Honey Bunny right here. But honey, you are way better, y'all. She is getting way, way, way better. So we are, meds are definitely working good here. We got big, big plans today, y'all. Big plans. She is looking swank. Yeah, girl. Yes, you are. Yep. But my plans are to plant the tomatoes, the squash, uh, some flowers. We're not gonna plant the beans today, more than likely. Uh, we'll just see how much time we got. That's the main thing. We're gonna try to prep or get our rows made and see what all we can get in. But definitely, hey Mildred, hey girl. But definitely going to do um, tomatoes, squash, uh, uh probably some flowers get all those guys planted and we may have to say our beans and peas for another day but we'll just see how far we can get right girl that's right yeah all right miss honey there you go girl so glad her legs are getting better how you doing baby hmm we're going to try to plant the garden today. That's our plans, if we can. Yep. Peaches, how you been treating the new employee anyways? That's what I want to know. No complaints, I reckon. No complaints. Peaches ain't that bad of a boss. You know what? She's really not. She's not that bad of a boss. Nope, not at all. Not at all. All right, girl. Hey, Peach, I want you to know we're gonna try to uh, plant the garden today. I know you've been on me about it, but you know the weather, it's the weather. I can't help the weather, you know what I mean? So today's a new day and we're gonna show, give it a shot, girl. And also, Peaches, I'm gonna try something else. I'm also gonna give a shot. We're gonna try the old tractor and see if we can get our rows made with the old Ford 8 in tractor and see how that goes. Okay, what you think, Mildred? What you think? I think I might can get it done. I really do. I really do think I can get it done. Yeah, we'll see though. If it don't, it don't, right? That's right. And also the uh, Volkswagen parts, some of it's here. We're still waiting on the heads to come back. And uh, my Volkswagen mechanic, also can work on small engines like tractors. Matter of fact, he has a nine in tractor and he said that he will be more than happy to take a look at it so we don't have to haul it because it's going it's just carbureted. It's either gonna be the float or the needle. I'm almost 100% sure on that. And he agreed with me too. So um, he's taken those carburetors apart and rebuilt them several times. So he's gonna take a look at that for me when he's here working on the Volkswagen on the bus. Right, girl? That's right. But I think it'll run long enough for me to get these rows made. I really do. We're going to give it a shot anyways, y'all. Let's see. While I'm over here, let's take a quick, 
quick peek at the Nugster. Big Nug man here. See how he's doing today. I will come back later and offer him some food and water. That's what I've been doing. See how he's been doing it. And yeah, he has gotten up though, because you can see right here, his head's facing this way now. See that? His head has been facing this way, so. He gets up and straightens the nest up and fixes things here and there, and I think he stretches his legs out, but he does not leave this spot. He does not. He doesn't walk this way. He doesn't walk that way. He stays right here all the time and still hasn't eaten or drink, drank anything yet when I've offered it to him. But I got to feed the geese and all that over here this later this afternoon. And when I do that, I will come over here and offer my boy here a little something to eat and drink. And if he wants it, he wants it. If he don't, he don't. All right, partner, hey, garden time, baby. Garden time. We'll see how far me and mama can get, okay? You have a blessed day, buddy. And you hang in there, sir. All right, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day as well. Hey, and don't be intimidated at the boss ladies out here, okay? She's just making sure y'all acting right. Okay, guys, here we are out in the garden area. This is our main garden area. You can see our Grower Solution greenhouse right there with our beautiful climbing pinky rose on the arbor over there. I'm, I'm going to go show you that rose. Don't, don't worry. We're going to go see that rose later when we get over there. I want to explain what's going on here, and then we'll go, we'll go and look in amazement of this gorgeous rose, and I'll tell you more about it. But here we are out in the front. Now, we had cover crops here. We've had our fall garden here, and we had sunflowers and Cosmo planted here. But this area here has not had any summer garden uh, vegetables in it. So that's what I want to do. I want to do a crop rotation. And what a crop rotation will do is it will break insect cycles is the main thing that crop rotations do. But first things first here, guys. Um, I noticed that... When Brooke and uh, Mary Carl have been cutting the grass, you can see they're not, they're kind of nervous to get too close to the edge here because they definitely don't want to hit this silage tarp. So I got some pretty tall grass around here. I want to hit this with a weed eater. Uh, I want to do it with the tarp on because I don't want to sling any uh, unwanted weed seeds into the bed. So let's, let's get this cut. We're going to remove the tarps. Then we're going to keep our fingers crossed and see if I can get the old tractor to come in here and make the beds for me. If not, we got the uh, Kubota as a backup. No big deal. And let's see if we can't get this garden planted today. I know I'm behind, but life happens. Let's go all the way to the end. Let's see how we can let's see if we can make it nice and pretty. You think one more time? Yeah, we see what happens. You ready? The small tarps way easier than the ones that we were doing. The ones that we're doing were three times this big. Yeah. Should you get a cricket? <laughs> I think she's scared of it. All right, there's bed number one, and now we're fixing to do bed number two. I figure when I make my rows, I can knock out both at the same time. I'm gonna have to wait till it stops. 
It has been coming from the darn west. Now it's coming from the south. Dealing with the wind with these tarps is such a pain. We hadn't had that much wind and the little we have has been blowing this way so it's been working with us. Now it's done changed directions. It's coming from the south so it's blowing right through here. And it's not a hard wind but it's probably about five to six miles an hour and it won't, it won't let us fold it up. And it hasn't stopped, it's just constant right now. Usually it'll just die out but it hadn't done that yet. All right, it's, it's died down. Let's see what happens. There it comes. Soon as I, soon as I started. If it ever gets out of whack, it'll mess the whole thing up when you get closer to the end. You can smell that rose from here. A rose and a... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Rose and the radishes smell good. All right, so while we're over here putting up these blocks, y'all, the smell is unbelievable right now. But I wanted to show y'all the climbing pinky rose She's not even get, getting started yet, y'all. This rose is going to be uh, just a showstopper this year. Um, I, tr I had cut out a lot. I had trimmed it back in February, and she's just now putting on all new growth. And like I always tell you guys, horizontal branches create your blooms. Look. Look at this. Horizontal branches or where the majority of your blooms come in and just look at everything. Look at all this. Look at this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So this whole area will just be filled in. You can see how it's growing. And I don't think you, you might be able to see some cattle panel, but I think by the end of the season, this cattle panel will be completely covered in a climbing pink, climbing pinky rose. I love this rose. Y'all, this is a magnificent rose. This is a great beginner rose. It's not super aggressive, so it's not just going to engulf something really fast on you. But it is still a fast climber. It smells great. It's disease resistant. It's an old variety, an old heirloom rose. A repeat bloomer, so it's going to bloom. This is my first rose that blooms. This is my last rose that blooms in the season. So it is going to bloom all season long. And... This is what you call a thornless rose. If you look, you don't see any thorns, but there are some, they're right there, but y'all, they're usually really soft or small. They're not hard. So they really do not hurt you at all like a, a rose that you think of. And it will just, just work and work and work for you. Beautiful rose, climbing pinky. Y'all remember that. And petals from the past does ship. So um, call them, go to the website, petalsfromthepast.com call them order it from their website if they have it in stock a great great rose for your garden all right y'all we got some we got some little breaking news here on the farm scott's announcing it we got some breaking news y'all come on check this out y'all look at this me and brooke just got through moving the tarps and stuff and decided to take us a little break and grab us a little snack and some water and Mayor Carl informed us as we were unloading the last little bit of block that the bees were swarming. And so um, we came back and found them. Luckily, they're right here. They're right here, y'all. They're right by the hives. Um, got in touch with our beekeepers, Rachel and Roy, and they're on their way. We're hoping, fingers crossed, that they don't leave from this spot. If they leave from this spot, then it's, then it's probably game over real. This hive will have split off and 
started a whole new colony and which you know it's not the end of the world it's not a bad thing but um you really don't want it to happen on your bees because they just kind of cut one of our best hives pretty much down uh they took the uh queen out and have left with a ton of bees so it's not ideal but again it's not it's not terrible either um but he is on the way mr roy is and hopefully he'll be here shortly y'all can see here's the swarm that's the pigeon loft and the aviary and you look right there there are the bees and that first hive you see starting from the left that very first hive that's the one that come out of according to mary carmen hopefully hopefully mr roy will be here be here shortly and uh he can capture them Yep, didn't make it, just cut off. <sighs> so, definitely not gonna be able to use this. For some reason, it will not stay running. Y'all heard it running for a good little minute. It's not gonna crank, I'm not even gonna try it. I ain't gonna try it. I thought it would stay running longer than that, but it didn't. Yeah. Same old song. Well, we gave it a shot. I thought it may run a good bit longer than that. It has been running longer than that. That's the first time it's cut off that quick. It cut off in less than five minutes that time. So, oh well. That's okay. That ain't gonna stop the show. A couple of hours, it'll crank back up and I'll go park it. And um, just whenever I got time to run it, back over to the mechanic's house or when all the parts come in for the Volkswagen and we get started back on it. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at this thing right here too. But it's gonna run, I'm not worried about it. It's something simple. I'm kinda glad it happened then and not while I was in the middle of the field and I had to push it out of there. It's light, but it's um, it still would have been tough. All right, let's go get the big O. All right, y'all, let's get this party started. All right, y'all, Mr. Roy just pulled up and we're fixing to load up and go capture some bees. Hope we can go capture some bees. Let's see, I checked the bees about 10 minutes ago, right before we started on the, um, getting the tractor implements on and they were there. So I hope they ain't left in the meantime. Please still be there. Y'all were just there. They're still there. They're still there. I see them. Good. They're still there. <laughs> yeah, this is quite crazy right here that I'm right here. And they could care less. Absolutely less. Oh man, they're waggling hard too. So the waggle, they're telling everybody where to go. Is that what they're doing? Get ready guys, we're going. Wow. Y'all can see them waggling. So that waggle dance right there is um is basically giving everybody directions. That's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna get back. And so but seriously, watch. Totally docile. It's warm. It's vibrating. You can do it. No, I won't let you do it. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but, but that's important because everybody's freaked out by bees. Right? Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. Fun. But honeybees aren't aggressive. You know, if we had this many wasps, oh, we ought to be running. We'd be in trouble. But they're not here. They don't have anything to defend. Yeah, no high, no home to defend right no now. No home to defend, and they're docile. They really, really are. So, And so see this one waggling? Yeah. And they're giving direction. You know, they, they know where they're going. By this time, they already know where they're going. So they just, they're just giving her a chance to rest. And these bees that are flying around, they'll come back. They'll come back in with some some nourishment. So it's crazy. Rachel's missing all the fun. Always misses the fun. <laughs> They're going back towards the ball. I can see that. Oh yeah, because that's where the queen is. And so we're just, as I pick through here, uh -huh. I'm going to look for her. But yeah, in be... a swarm this size, yeah. it's pretty tough to find the queen. So they smell the comb. I see them going like down. Queen. Some of the essential oils that we put in there yeah. help them do that. And so they're going there. And once the queen drops in, I haven't seen her yet. Uh huh. The, the rest of the bees will follow. When you see those old type pictures of the guy that has a beard of bees. Yeah. They're swarming. They're swarms. I got you. That or he was a very brave man. Oh, I see it on the pole? Yes. What is that? That's actually little pieces of wax. Oh, okay. That the younger bees when they're producing, they're just starting to deposit on the on the post. They don't really know if this is where they landed, was their home or not. Wow. So they were already starting to oh, just yeah. build comb already on that pole. And but... occasionally you'll even see them in an open uh, branch yeah. in a tree. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now what we're going to do. See a lot of them flying around up there, which isn't always a good sign. Yeah, it's a bunch flying. What we're gonna do? A lot flying. Yeah. I'm trying to put this but, in the middle of it. But they're literally following that high. See this one right here. Yeah. It has its back end up, it's fanning, it's trying to get the smell out and around so everybody can smell and find that hive. Yeah, they're going to it. I can see the front of it getting mm -hmm. more covered. And if you look to the sky, you can see fewer bees in the air. Yeah, they're definitely going to that hive. So that's a good sign. It's a good sign. Look back to the pole where they were. Any there? Not a not a bee on the pole. <laughs> wow, and there's the wax, y'all. See the little wax? Oh yeah, they're 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 headed home. Really? And y'all, I don't know if you can see it on camera. I think you can. It's showing up pretty good on camera. But the bees. And they could care less about me right now. I mean, nothing. She gone Sometimes now? Sometimes there can be several queens. Right here, right here. See her? See how much bigger she is? Oh, yeah. And her abdomen, the, the 
part at the end is longer where she carries literally millions of eggs that she'll lay. But she's headed, looks like she's heading in the door, isn't she? I lost track of her. But yeah, that's where we want her to go. Yeah, yo, it's been a minute and a half. And look at the sky now. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. She is absolutely inside. We'll just let these girls make their way back in there. All right, you want to hold this? Yeah. And I'll go get the rest. Well, you know what? We can put it down. Can put it down? Yeah. Now, if you squish one, they're going to, it's going to sting here. I got it. Oh, I can. Welcome to your new home. Awesome. When bees are ready to swarm, they already have their location, their new hive area or their new house, apartment, or whatever you want to call it, picked out. And that fence post was not it. The reason that they flew to the fence post is because that queen is an older queen and she was a big queen. She was a big, big, she was a chunky monkey. And she got tired and couldn't fly all the way to the new location that the scout bees had already scouted out so that's where they took they went and took them a little break right there it's like stopping you know going to disney world and stopping at the state park and stretching your legs and getting you a, a, a bag of skittles um that's what they were doing they were picking them up a bag of skittles and filling up the filling up the car with gas and are fixing to head back out so luckily they didn't and were able to capture them and got them a brand new home, a brand new hive, and now we have 11 hives here on the farm. Let's get to gardening. Well, y'all, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> the garden. <laughs> hey, but what kind of excitement is that, right? So we got nine rows here, nine rows there. That's 18 rows total. Not for sure exactly how this is all gonna play out until we go get the plants and start planting. All right, so I'm over here in my compost pile. It looks like it's not that much, but it, it goes pretty deep, y'all. And then I got this side over here that I haven't tapped into really. And I'll just keep doing this, you know, every single time that I plant in the garden. And just over time, my soil is gonna get better and better and better and better. Plus, we've really started to hone on our composting system. We really didn't do it that much when, you know, at first. Because we just had so much going on. And compost was the last thing from our minds. You know, if we thought about it, we would bring some stuff over here. But now we're really, really, really honing into making our own compost. So I just raked in the compost all the way down and you can see it's starting to look really, really good. I personally, personally don't like to mound except things that need to be mounded. Like you want to mound your watermelons and pumpkins. Um, you know, corn you mound and you heal up during the growing season. But tomatoes, squash, cucumbers, peppers, okra, your common um summer crops i personally don't like to mound because it tends to dry out faster but the reason why i do it this way is it's 50 times faster for me to use the tractor to make these rows versus me getting a measuring tape staking pulling a string creating a farrow for the seeds or plants to go in taking it up and doing that 18 times I mean, that, that literally takes over half the day. The tractor, 10 minutes tops. Even if that, maybe five minutes, it takes no time. So that's the reason why I do it this way. And I am gonna put drip irrigation in here. So that really saves me there. If you don't have drip, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise not mounding it like this. So we're about to go get our plants. And I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna do it. We're gonna plant the plant. We're gonna put a little, composted fertilizer right here this is hoss's 
organic fertilizer, which is made from chicken manure. And we're going to put some worm castings in the hole. And then we're going to space them properly. And I'll tell you how far we're going to space each plant we're going to plant today. Also, Brooke just sent me a text and she's through doing the things that she needed to get done today. So she's going to come help me plant the garden. So we're going to do a lot of companion planting this year. Zinnias do great with tomatoes, so I'm going to do zinnias, tomatoes. I got some basil that does great with tomatoes. Sunflowers does great with tomatoes. And the zinnias, the sunflowers, are bring in pollinators, which will also pollinate our squash. So we'll all this will be cohesive. That sound that sound that sounded like I was know what I was talking about in it. Well, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> oh, and I'm not for sure how far it's going to go. We'll just see when we get it going in the ground. All we, right. we may add some more. We may have some leftover rows. We'll see. I do want to come back and add some marigolds, but we can do that later. And, and I may throw in a pepper plant, too. Let's see. So the zinnias, we're going to plant six to nine inches apart. Sunflowers will be nine inches to a foot apart and the tomatoes anywhere from two to three foot apart and our squash and our zucchini are going to go anywhere from at least three foot apart because they're going to get really really big so three to four foot apart on the zucchini now you can pack it in as tight as you want it uh, you can do that square foot gardening method where they just pack it in there but this is what i'm doing here i got the room so the more room that they can get airflow through there the less chances of disease is happening especially on your tomatoes and your squash they're prone to blight and mildew and if we can get that airflow through there uh, it helps a lot with those diseases on those plants a little bit of worm castings and we're going to plant our tomatoes and remember you want to plant your tomatoes deep which mine are still small because i got them in these trays still but and i actually this year i started my tomatoes too early i certainly did but timing is tough sometimes especially when you get late freezes in the year me and brooke got it knocked out all the plants are planted now we're going to put in our drip irrigation and I'm just reusing the drip irrigation from the fall garden because it's done except the onions and we'll be harvesting onions either to the end of this week or next week. Now you can put the drip under the ground and I got the house tool that does that but with my rocky soil the house tool just doesn't work that well so i've been using it on top of the ground one thing about using it on top of the ground is that um you can reuse it a few times before you have to throw it away and always if you do use it on top of the ground make sure your holes are facing down you don't want them facing up i need to get this thing untwisted before i do anything good thing i do have a hundred percent chance of rain tonight but i know these guys are under a lot of stress right now so we're going to go ahead and give them a drink as soon as we get this drip tape installed. All right, y'all. Uh, I think we're going to hold off on planting the watermelons in the other one uh, bed over there. Me and Brooke are whipped. It's getting late in the afternoon. Um, <laughs> but it's been a very productive day. Very productive day. Got the tarps pulled back. Got them put up. Got the rows made for the garden. Caught a swarm of bees. Came back. Uh, put compost in. Fertilized. Planted all the plants. Took the drip out of the fall garden. And put it in the summer garden. And... Now it's time to go drink some cold water or lemonade or probably some sweet tea. Y'all be good.